जय श्री माता जी लेट एस ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us now listen to Shamata Ji's speech. That's like a broken glass, which is trying to reflect something. It can never give the right picture. It's so important, and I have to tell you this now. The time has come for me to tell you. This is the snack in our life. First thing people will ask, whom am I going to marry? What is such a hurry? Of course, marriage, I call it an auspicious thing. Marriage should be there. There should be a collective sanction, everything. But for what? To adore the chastity within us. Then they are married. Then they have children. Then they want to have a house. Then they want to have this. This whole, such an insular business goes on and on and on, and the light of your life doesn't spread. But I have known people who were just in the hell and have come out and have spread light. Beautiful meteor, meteoric. Heights they have achieved. I've seen people like that. So 
So today you have come to worship Sri Ganesh within yourself. What is me to worship as Ganesha? I don't understand. Because I'm that. When you are worshipping me, you want to have that Sri Ganesh within you or me. Let that be awakened within you. Let what I say becomes the mantra to awaken that within you. So that as my children you enjoy the bliss of chastity as I have enjoyed all my human life and all my divine lives. You enjoy the same quantity, that's what I want. At least you should have the taste of it. I'm telling you about something which you may not have heard before. But you never heard about Kundalini also. We had never heard about Self-Realization like this. But today I think, by chance, absolutely in a Sahaja way, this puja was arranged. I was to have this puja in Bombay. It was all organized. People were all willing to come there to do this puja. I mean, a Ganesha puja in England or in the West is so important that I thought better have it one without the right time in Rome, which is the one of the basic things which has ruined the chastity of human beings. Romans started it and others carried on. But it was to be here in Brighton. At the lotus feet of Sadashiva. But the English must know that they have got such a golden land and they don't deserve it. They have to deserve it. Imagine you are living in the land of Sadashiva, where even water is also the snow, means like distilled water, clean, clear, white. Where Sri Ganesha is the one who washes the feet of his father. Where the chastity itself resides as your mother. And you have to deserve that coveted position. English Savaj Yogis have to come up very much. Just the opposite English way. Coming from Sadashiva's land, just the opposite. Tremendous arrogance. Arrogance so horrible, which one cannot think in Shiva's place. All unchaste people are arrogant. Otherwise, how can they forgive themselves? You talk to any prostitute, in two minutes you'll find out she's a prostitute because she's extremely arrogant. What's wrong? I'm a prostitute, so what? Arrogance is a sign of unchaste personality. And such a person also becomes insular because he is ashamed, ashamed to face others. But a chaste personality is open. Why should he be afraid of anyone? Talks to everyone nicely kind to everyone, in all innocence and simplicity, 
without falling in love in every third person you come across. And that one has to realize that this country is given to you with a purpose. And if you do not come up to that level, you'll be thrown away. So, respecting your chastity is real respecting Me, because I reside within you as chastity. If Sri Ganesha is the auspiciousness, I reside within you as chastity. Chastity is never aggressive, is never harsh, because there's no need, you know. No need, you are so powerful, you are so powerful, that there's no need to aggress anyone. Why should you aggress? You are not frightened of anyone. It's so generous, it's so kind, it's so beautiful, always fresh and young, yet so sublime and so dignified. Now twelve years have passed since I've been here. Two more years, very intense work is needed. Within and without. Within we have to work very hard for these two years, very hard. Real tapasya we have to go into, all of us, whether men or women. And then we'll see. I can say that we have done a good job, with little jump, courage and faith, we can achieve a lot. Have faith in yourself. Not mental faith, but actual chastity is faith. Chastity is the consolidation of your faith. When you have faith in God, you are chaste. When you have faith in yourself, you are chaste. You have faith in your wife, you are chaste. Why should you have faith in your wife? Because you are a chaste person. How can she be unchaste? Your faith in your child is chastity. Because you are chaste, how can your child be anything else. Crystalline form of faith is chastity. And that you can have even before realization. Many have. Actually, like the camphor which you see is volatile and evaporates into the fragrance in the same way, we can say, chastity acts into faith. If you don't have chastity, you cannot have faith in anything, because either you are dealing with your emotions, that you are emotionally attached to Me, or maybe you are mentally attached to Me. But if you have sense of chastity, a faith will be apparent within yourself. You don't have to have faith. Now, Mother, I will have faith within myself. You cannot. Faith is something which is volatile, and the volatile fragrance comes from chastity. So, from today, we are not going to look at the stars or the moon, but we are going to look at the 
earth. In the universe, she represents. The Kundalini is nothing but chastity. She is just chastity. Can you believe it? What a power! Motherhood. Everything is chastity. Fatherhood. Any relationship is chastity. Purity is again the fragrance of chastity. Goodness, compassion, everything comes from chastity, a sense of chastity, which is not mental. If you are mentally chaste, you can be horrid, like some of the nuns are or some of those people who are austere, not that. Chastity is an innate, built-in kundalini within you. which acts because it understands Me, she understands Me, she knows Me, she's part and parcel of Me, it's My reflection. So make your Kundalini strong by being chaste. People try to do things to look very attractive and this and that. Don't waste your energy like this, you are saints, live like saints. Traditionally, as we live, we have to live that way. And evolve out of the tradition. Don't do something new, something absurd, nonsensical. We don't have to attract anyone. Chastity is the fragrance in the flower, which attracts the bees, is the honey of the flower, is the essence of our existence. So this time you are all coming to India, I have to request you to respect me by not misbehaving, not childishly behaving in the way, manner you see in the pictures and the films and all that nonsense. You are above all that. Attention, achievements are to be seen from the seat of your chastity. We can't leave our seats. Whether we are acclaimed or not makes no difference. We can't leave our seat. Like all these avadhutas, they'll say, takya sodasane, means we will not leave our seats. We are in our seats. This is our seat in the lotus. We can't leave the lotus. We are sitting in the lotus, that's our seat. Then all these nonsensical things that you have acquired will drop out. You'll see, you'll become beautiful people. All boots will run away, all catches will run away. But it's not austerity again and again, I'm telling. It is respect of your being. As you respect Me outside, you respect Me within. As simple as that. Today it's a great day for us to be worshipping Shri Ganesh. He is the first and the foremost to be worshipped.
And when you worship Him, you must realize that you are worshipping His manifestation as well, that is of Christ. Anybody who talks cheaply about Christ, you should abhor such a person. You cannot intellectualize Christ. Anybody who does it, just have nothing to do with that person. Christ is innocence. If you don't have the depth of your chastity, you can't understand. You cannot worship Him. That's the best they could do, is to finish your chastity so that you never recognize Him. All that comes to you through your meditative efforts. Now the effort is to be just that you have to be meditative, that's all. Keep your meditation on, try to be meditative, see things. What is witness state is nothing but that you are meditative. So I've decided also that I'll meet the Brighton people here tomorrow morning and I will meet all the English people, if possible, tomorrow, day after tomorrow evening, to tell them how important it is for them to achieve that state of purity. I think it's working out. I really work very hard, you have no idea how much I work hard. But this is also, they said that, is an idea that people think that others should do all their work. This is like pound saving, this saving, that saving, and also labor saving. Let mother do all the job for them. Mother is looking after us. She should get up in the morning, she should do meditation. There is no saving. You can save everything else if you just know how to save your spirit. Only your ascent is important. Once you ascend, everything is saved. You first save yourself. For that you have to put in effort, you have to work hard. You have to go deep into you, evolve yourself. You are quite capable of it. Do not blame anyone. Do not blame your wife, mother, father, country, anything. Everyone can work it out. Don't see other people. See yourself, how far I have gone. What have I contributed? Let me go ahead with it. Every one of you. I'm thankful that all the people have come from all over to England. That's the right thing to do in a way. But this country must be created of that level, that it becomes a pilgrimage for everybody to come in. On the contrary, it should not happen that once they come to England, after that they never come to Sergio. Could happen. Could happen with the arrogance that people have, maybe that it might become like that. That once they come here, they'll say, Oh, no more Sergio, had enough of it. The other way round in India, once they go to India, they stick on. I've known some people that they came to England and the way they some of the Sahaja Yogis behaved and some of the ashrams were run. They just ran away and they said, Mother, nothing doing. We are not going to be in Sahaja Yoga anymore after seeing your developed Sahaja Yogis in England where you have worked for twelve years. So 
So today we are sitting on this beautiful land of England and we have certain debts to be paid, to be born in this country. And the debt is that we have to be great Sahaja Yogis. We can make out very easily who is a great Sahaja Yogi. When you say that, shut that window, you'll find most of them will be sitting looking at others. I don't say they are all English, but could be. Make others work is not the way. We have to be really very dedicated. We are not of that level. Believe me, you are not of that level. Don't look at other people who are here. You are very different type of people. You are special people. Try to be alert. Respect yourself because you are English, that you have a special responsibility. So may God bless you.
مهما انترت Thank you Shumata ji for this beautiful benediction. Let us all bow down to Shumata ji. Raise our mother kundalini and put bandhan.
we will continue with our morning meditation tomorrow morning same time jai shri mata ji
Thank you. 